Good morning, and welcome again to your city today. With me today is Graham Campbell, a councillor from the City Council. He'll be telling us about the plan to improve the fast-growing suburb of Red Hill. Good morning, Graham, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Carol. Now, Graham, I understand that there has been a lot of community consultation for the new plan. Yes, we've tried to address some of the concerns that local groups told us about. People we've heard from are mainly worried about traffic in the area, and in particular the increasing speed of cars near schools. They feel that it's only a matter of time before there's an accident as a lot of children walk to the school. So, we're trying to do something about that. Another area of concern is the overhead power lines. These are very old, and a lot of people we spoke to asked if something could be done about them. Well, I'm happy to report that the power company. Have agreed to move the power lines underground at a cost of eight hundred thousand dollars. I think that will really improve the look of the area, as well as being safer.、Mm, that's good to know. But will that mean an increase in rates for the local businesses in that area? Well, the power company have agreed to bear the cost of this themselves after a lot of discussion with the council. This is wonderful news, as the council now has some extra funds for us to put into other things like. Tree planting and artwork. Now, we've also put together a map, which we sent out to all the residents in the area, and on the map we've marked the proposed changes. Firstly, we'll plant mature pine trees to provide shelter and shade just to the right of the supermarket in Day's Road. In order to address the traffic problems, the pavements on the corner of Carberry and Thomas Street will be widened. This will help to reduce the speed of vehicles entering Thomas Street. We think it's very important to separate the local residential streets from the main road, so the roadway at the entrance to Thomas Street from Day's Road will be painted red. This should mark it more clearly and act as a signal for traffic to slow down. One way of making sure that the pedestrians are safe is to increase signage at the intersections. A keep clear sign will be erected at the junction of Evelyn Street. And Hill Street to enable traffic to exit at all times. Something we're planning to do to help control the flow of traffic in the area is to install traffic lights halfway down Hill Street where it crosses Day's Road. Now, we haven't only thought about the cars and traffic, of course. There's also something for the children. We're going to get school children in the area to research a local story, the life of a local sports hero, perhaps. And an artist will incorporate that story into paintings on the wall of a building on the other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. And finally, we've agreed to build a new children's playground, which will be at the other end of Hill Street, close to the intersection with Carberry Street. Wonderful. Now, what's the next stage? Well, the final plan. Will...